How to become likable to any person. How can you attract someone you like? In this video I am going to tell you how past experiences affect attraction. And how can you attract someone you like by collecting some information about his past. 1. Attracting someone you like. Our pasts define our future goals and the personality traits we would love to find in our potential partner. If a girl was raised in a home where her father was distant she will certainly become attracted to kind men without knowing why. If you collected some information about the person you like you won't have any problem attracting him, you just need to give him what he wasn't given in his past and appear completely different than those who harmed him earlier in his life. Attracting someone you like is not about being nice or using body language. But it's all about understanding that person's mind and working on showing him that you are the solution to his past unfinished business. All of this happens on the unconscious level, the girl I mentioned for example might became attracted to men who have certain facial features that show kindness without understanding the connection between liking that man and her past. 2. More about attracting the person you like. Of course things aren't that simple, you can't attract the person you like by just showing him that you possess one trait he is looking for but instead you need to possess the few very important traits that concern him the most. I know that collecting such information might not be easy but without doing so your efforts might go in the wrong direction. In fact instead of attracting a person that you like you might say one wrong thing that turns him off completely. Knowing the right thing to say to attract a person and the wrong things that can turn him off is all about learning more about his past. In my book How to Make Someone Fall in Love with You I said that understanding the person's unmet needs that were developed in his past is the key to attracting him. Collect as much information about the person you like and you will know exactly what you need to do in order to attract him. 3. Being likable vs attracting the person to you. If you just want to become likable to a person then you need do the same thing but not go lengths. If for example you discovered 10 needs that a certain person has then being able to satisfy one or two of them will make you likable to that person. As you work on satisfying more and more of those needs you risk making that person fall in love with you. So you must be able to stop when you are sure that you don't want to be with that person. If for example you want your boss to like you then you can work on satisfying one or two of their needs but if you overdid that then your boss might fall for you.